Hello everyone and thank you for watching Clever Cooks. Today it's all about the bottles and the impression they make. You know, if you have a company over, maybe you don't care if it's some of your friends just coming over to have a snack and something like that. But if you're having an out and out dinner, like we just had Mother's Day recently and Father's Day is coming up, you might want to have something that's a little more impressive just to make a nice pleasant atmosphere for your meal. Here we have four bottles of vinegar. One is malt, one is balsamic, one is red wine, and the last one is another balsamic. Now you notice the first one is Heinz, you know, standard bottle. The second bottle is a little nicer. The third bottle, because it's red wine, comes in a bottle that simulates a wine bottle for the sales effect. And the last bottle, I, I, I confess, I picked it up simply because of the bottle. Now, if they all contain the same exact thing, which one would you choose to put on your salad? You'd probably go with the last bottle, maybe the, the third one. And that's the kind of impression it makes. On to the next set. Now, if you're wondering where I'm getting these fancy bottles, I get them from Home Goods. The uh, Home Goods uh, bottle with that olive oil on the left, I think I got that one in, in Bayonne. And the one on the right I picked up from Sea Caucus last week, which is a balsamic vinegar black truffle. And, and that's very nice. Now you notice both of these bottles are very unique and they complement each other perfectly even though it's not the same company. And this is something you put out and, and people just go, go crazy and say, hey, I want to use that bottle. So when you use up bottles like this, this unique that you can't find again, you keep them, you refill them and you can take the labels off and they look even better. Now these bottles over here are obviously for holding what some people would call spirits. The one on the left is a simple decanter. It's glass. It's not crystal. Uh, it's a very nice quality. It's got three O-rings which seals it. And uh, you can put anything you want in there. You could put alcohol. You can put grape juice and give people uh, grape juice spritzers. And the one all the way on the right is called Pizer. It's a liqueur. Uh, that's my father's. And um, you see, it's very unique that people say, I might want to try that. And the one in the middle actually held chocolate. And the way you opened it was from the bottom. Someone unscrewed the top thinking they were going to get those giant pieces of chocolate. And they kind of ruined the effect. But I keep it around because you can refill it with other things and put it on display. And people are going to be like, wow, I wonder uh, how I, I get that chocolate out of there. <laughs> this is why you keep bottles or you buy new ones. Another one of my favorite things to get are grinders. The one on the left, as you can see, is a pink Himalayan salt, which has actually been refilled. And uh, you got peppercorns in the middle, and the one on the right used to have a, uh, I think, a pink Himalayan salt or a white salt. I used it all up. I actually have many of these on the right, and I fill them up with other things. And you see they got a nice silver band on it. They're, they're great for putting on the table when you have company, whereas these... Uh, you know, I take the labels off once they're empty of the original product so that whatever you put in there, people don't think it's the original product. This one is a little more difficult to use. It's, uh, it's hard on the wrist, but uh, if your hands are a little slippery from handling food and stuff, the ones on the left are really nice because you can grip them really well, where the ones on the right are really more decorative and, and good for table use. And finally, our last set. Obviously, the one on the left is a milk bottle. It had organic milk in it. The one in the center also looks like a milk bottle. And the one on the right was actually one of those uh, old Thompson's uh, herbs. And I, I got some uh, iced tea mix in there right now. That's why you keep them, because stuff just keeps better in the glass. The iced tea mix came in a plastic packet. I opened it, and that's what I'm keeping it in, because stuff just keeps better in the glass. Now, the one in the middle that looks like a milk bottle, that actually had pink Himalayan salt in it. And that's why when you go out and you go to Home Goods, you look at this stuff and you look at it and you say, can I use what's in there? And when it's empty, can I reuse it or can I use it for something else? And that's what I love about the one in the middle because it held, held salt. But I put half and half in there for Mother's Day. And everyone enjoyed using it because it was such a nice looking bottle and a nice cap. So... That wraps this up for this episode of Clever Cook. Thanks for watching. If there's anything else you want to see, let me know, and uh, we'll get to it. Thanks for watching.